the type of force acting on the system depends on the type of interaction the system has with the surrounding now i'm going to explain that because different things interact differently with the system different forces are generated with the system now before i even move ahead a system can consist of just one object such as the box or the system can consist of multiple objects such as the box or two boxes piled on each other when a system consists just one object that object by itself cannot move itself and that object by itself cannot interact with itself but if a system let's say has two objects two people pushing on each other you see two boys or a boy or a girl pushing on each other what would happen is the forces that two objects within a system exerts on each other they are called internal forces and the forces that something outside of the system exerts on the system are called internal forces so we can categorize forces into two types external forces and internal forces an internal force is a force exerted by one part of the system on another for example, if I am the system and I exert a force on my chest, this is an internal force. But if I exert a force on this deck, this is an external force. So when a system interacts with an object outside of itself, an external force is created. When a system interacts with an object within itself, an internal force is created. It is crucial because only external forces can bring about motion. No matter how hard I push myself, I cannot move from where I'm sitting. But if you walk around me and you push me from behind, I will fall over or I will roll over. So that means that only external forces brings about motion. It's important you note that only external forces brings about motion only external forces brings about motion so there are essentially different types of forces which in turn depends on the type of interactions that the system has with the surroundings now There are certain forces that can only exist when a system is in physical contact with another. Such forces are called contact forces. And there are certain forces that can be exerted on a system when it is not physically in contact with another. Such forces are called non-contact forces or action at a distance force now think about a magnet a magnet can pick up pieces of nails or reflect deflect other magnets even without touching that is an example of a non-contact force but if you sit on a chair like i am doing now you could actually feel a force acting on you from below that force can only be felt only when you are sitting on that chair. That is an example of a contact force, which only exists when two or more objects are in physical contact. So in this in the next couple of lessons, we will describe the different types of forces during our discussion you should be able to answer whether the force we are talking about is a contact or non-contact force 
Thank you.